He's trying desperately, but this is not the same age man. He should be hanging on. Now with the right hand, the left hand. He's got to hang on, but he'll stop the fight. There he goes. Now he's hurt. It's all over. It appears that set TV is now down for the count. And ladies and gentlemen, it's left a lot of people with a bunch of questions that they want answers to, to know what is going on with this particular service. When all we really wanted from the cable and internet monsters is to put down... Put down the spear. This is what's happening when you go to Set TV Now's website, and it's not a good look. If you're finding me for the first time, please go ahead, subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell so you're down every time we drop a new Life Games video. If you really want to support this channel and help us keep bringing this great content, go ahead and join my Patreon. Also, follow me on the Stardust app. It's a free app you can download. That's how I try to keep my Life Gainers updated on all the latest and greatest in movie reviews, we do it in 30 seconds on that app. And lastly, if you want to follow the blog, go to shoplifegains.com. I got a blog about this. And there's some items in there you might want to buy for your own comfort and leisure. Let's jump into this video. In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, but to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. This is what a lot of Set TV customers woke up to just this past week. A message on the Set TV site says, Thank you for visiting Set TV. Set TV service is currently unavailable. The company also tweeted out a similar message Thursday evening. Thank you for contacting Set TV. Set TV is currently unavailable. For additional information, send an email support. And y'all know how I feel about that bullshit. And so that caused a hysteria of questions. And here's a question from one of the Life Gain Sexy as Hell members. Do the subscribers to the paid service set TV need to be worried, worried and rush out and download a VPN due to the lawsuit? My answer to that is don't even worry about that. You might not have service at all. I'm new to this stuff, but I don't see how it is fair for the consumer to get in legal trouble for a paid service. I do much internet tech stuff and I don't want to panic and run out and get a VPN service if it is not necessary for my minimal internet uses. Help. Also, I feel like people are tired of monopolies and we'd rather go without the hit up and red box and IPTV goes away rather than going back to movie theater and cable companies. And that is a very good question. And let's go ahead and talk about that, but first, I gotta put on my plus seven glasses of sexy as hell, work on skilling up this craft, giving you guys a more informed YouTube experience. Of course, something better to look at as I get my nerd on. That was a loaded question, ladies and gentlemen, and Set TV is down. We reported to you guys way back in April that they were being sued by the, the cabal of entertainment, Netflix and all of them. And now that the service is gone, we don't really know why it's gone. I would highly speculate it has something to do with that lawsuit. And a lot of people have lost their money. They're not getting services right now. And I would just tell you just, you know, from now on, whenever there is a third party TV service that plays in the gray, don't set yourself up for auto pay, pay month to month. You might have lost that money because I can cool believe if they're under lawsuit, they're trying to get every single coin they can get their hands on and you might not get your money back and that servers might be lost and it's time to start looking for some alternatives. Um, it's sad what's going on with them because like you said, I wasn't a big fan of them, but I was a fan of what they was doing similar to what Spotify done when people was downloading music back in the day because people was getting greedy with their music prices. Spotify came in, lowered those prices and got people back on the straight and narrow. And we was hoping that something like this would happen 
with set TV or one of the other great services out there. And it still might, it's undetermined what's gonna happen, but we are watching the story closely. What I think, here's my conspiracy theory on this whole thing. Now you guys try to follow with me. The whole net neutrality thing came by because the big cable companies got together to make that happen. Under normal circumstances, big cable companies, they're not trying to be friends with each other, but when they see a threat to their monopoly, when they see a threat to being able to charge people whatever the hell they want to charge them, you come together because you want to keep that control. And so I think that the biggest thing that's going on with all this is the net neutrality being going away and doing what they're doing is because these cable companies are trying to corral the internet. The internet was the wild, wild west. There was really no sanctions on it. There was no laws. There were no toll booths. There was nothing stopping people from doing what they want to do on the internet, almost free of charge. And when they saw that coming in and they saw people going to the streaming services, which put up servers off, off seas that allow people to get these services and they, they didn't know what to do. They was just like, what the hell are we going to do? We've got to do something to corral that. So that's my conspiracy theory on that. For those of you that don't want to keep dealing with possible loss of services, possible losing your money, you can always go to those brand names that we know are not going to do you like that. Of course, you're not going to get the same amount of service with that, but you can always go to YouTube TV. You can go to Sling TV. You're not going to get your pay-per-views. You're probably not going to get your um, premium TVs. You're going to be paying anywhere from 20 up to I think YouTube TV is now $40 but you can get you can count on the service you know it's not going to go away and that is an option for you also the other thing is direct TV now is getting ready to come out with a $15 service and that is predominantly done because of people like set TV now giving you so much service and knocking that price down so if we can say anything good has come out of this, it is that prices are starting to go down and you're starting to get more service and more quality. We'll just have to keep following this story, ladies and gentlemen. I'll keep going through finding free options for you all to use and I'll report to you guys on streaming services in the same realm as Set TV that offer great service and just let you guys pick this thing on your own and go from that point. But for now, if you was with Set TV, probably let it go until further information comes up about what their services is going to do in the future. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go out there and get yourself a life game. Go check out the blog link at shoplifegains.com. You'll see a site that says Life Game Blog News. I'll leave all the information I found about this in there. And if you happen to like some things in my store, go ahead and shop around. And if you're still one of those YouTubers trying to grow and you want to do a collab with this channel, hit me up. And if you're someone who really, really enjoys the content I put on this channel, go subscribe to my Patreon. That is a link that helps YouTubers continue to make great content to bring to you guys the best way we can do it. Till that next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.